Hey there! So last week I talked about how much fun it is to pull garlic, and uh, this week, well, this is where all that garlic ended up. This uh, humble little shed here um, doesn't look like much, but uh, contains a valuable cornucopia of, uh, of garlic. I did some math and I figured that the half acre or so of garlic that we pulled out the field probably had a good 10,000 bulbs, so we spent uh, about a week pulling all that out. and. Uh, it gets hauled in here and hung up to dry because uh, garlic needs to be dried and cured before it's ready to eat. So that's what's happening here. And uh, I mean, it's a little bit creepy if you look underneath all the roots hanging down. I wouldn't, I don't really want to be in here, but uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just garlic. You'll notice uh, that uh, the garlic, uh, there's still a lot of dirt in it, eh? Um, you know, we shake off the excess dirt in the field, but uh, hasn't been washed at all, and it, that's fine. It's just here drying and covered in dirt. And uh, I got to admit, um, I guess my attitude towards dirt's been changing now that I'm working in the fields. And I mean, our food comes from dirt, and I work in the fields, and I'm covered in dirt. And uh, I've just kind of gotten used to that. Um, but it's a big change, you know, uh, from a young age. Like when I was two, it was always diligent to me. You wash your food before you eat it. Um, and so I sort of had this subconscious mistrust of dirt, but um, yeah, that mistrust is kind of wearing off here, and uh, this is a carrot I, I just pulled out of the field. We harvested 200 bunches of uh, rainbow carrots last week, which took a few hours, and while we're pulling the carrots, you know, not every carrot is uh, suitable for bunch. This one was missing its top, and it's kind of small, so, you know, you pull it out, brush it off, and uh, take a bite. And that is a delicious carrot, dirt notwithstanding. You know, I can barely even taste the dirt. I, I don't even really know it's there. I mean, if I did like a wine tasting, I could give you the earthy notes or whatever it is. But I mean, that's a carrot and it's got a little bit of dirt on it. And that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. So the last thing I want to show you this week is an old farmer pastime, which is picking stones. And I had a lesson this week in why it's an old farmer pastime. So this is a row of peppers that uh, we had to hoe earlier this week. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty full of stones. And I've been lucky so far because most of the weeding and the hoeing I've done has been in really, really nice rows, you know, rows without any stones in them. Um, and when you're in a, a smooth uh, environment like that, your hoe just goes through the dirt, cuts under all the weeds, turns over the soil. Um, it's really easy and smooth. And when you try and drag your hoe through a row like this, well, it's not so smooth. Um, you sort of go a stroke and your hoe hits a rock and stops and hits a stroke and hits. And so it takes twice as long and the weeding isn't as effective. Um, and so I kind of understand this habit of picking stones now because, you know, you just bend down, pick up a stone, toss it outside the field and you do a little bit of that every day. And in a couple of years, this row will be as nice and smooth as all the other fields on the farm. But uh, for now, it's a pain in the ass. So that's what I got for you this week. If you're interested in uh, keeping up with these updates, uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I do updates every week. If you're interested in the documentary I'm making, uh, you can go to thehandsthatfeedus.ca and sign up for our newsletter. Uh, or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, until next week, thanks for watching.